Well, hey there, welcome back. I'm really surprised at how many people are asking questions about the C6500. So there's a lot of people out there that are still trying to get a little bit of life out of their old machines. And uh, this video is going to be how to do a both sides adjustment on the 6500 uh, so you can uh, adjust the front to back registration so it's right on. It's real simple. So we go to both sides adjustment and select the tray that you want to adjust. Uh, right now we're going to do uh, the bypass and then we're going to print a chart. So chart adjustment, copy, and print. Just hit the machine again and here we have all these numbers. They're all in millimeters. So now measure all these numbers and insert them into there. Once you have all those set in there, push adjustment start. And then close. And we should be good. Perfect. See you next time. Just kidding. I typically, actually, there's like three ways you can do this adjustment. One, the way I just showed you. And typically the way I did it on this machine was actually to go into your adjustments and machine adjustment, printer adjustment, and then you're gonna either adjust your restart timing or your centering adjustment. And this is what those adjustments do. If you need to move your image back and forth, that's the restart timing. And if you need to move your image up and down, that's your centering adjustment. Um, so you can go in here and then you can adjust per tray and also different sizes of paper. This is a good way to like set everything up uh, before you mess with anything else and this is really I think the best way to do it uh, because then that adjustment is going to be attached to each tray for any paper stock you run through it so if you consistently tray one is going to be off you know three millimeters you're going to want to change that adjustment in here so it's just hardwired to be fixed for the first sheet out and the last way would be the both sides adjustment manually. So if you print out your job and you're looking at it and you're like, oh, you know, that's off two millimeters, you can just come right in to both sides. And instead of doing the chart adjustment and taking the time to take all those measurements and input it, you can just select the tray you're using. And if you know it needs to be three millimeters to the right then you just put in 30 here and then you're good to go so that was a quick way to do the front to back registration on a Konica C6500 but that can be used for many other Konica machines I decided to just do a real quick video because somebody had asked how to do it and there was really no other video or instructions online so now there is all right take care we'll catch you later